Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information, and advice. And I'm delighted to say welcome back to part two. Joining me is Spencer. How are you doing, my man? I'm doing very good, sir. Doing How are you doing? Yeah, I am very, very good, thank you. Now, in part one, uh, if you missed part one, there's a link in the description below. Check it out, have a listen, and uh, have a look at what we got up to and what we spoke about. And uh, Spencer shared his, his life and how he came out here 10 years ago, same as me, for, believe it or not. Don't know where the time goes. But in part two, in this part, I want to know about that long name of your brand. What's the I name can't called? Pro- I, <laughs> that's, that's not fair, don't play. Oh, hang on, hang on. It is the, the British Salt Beef Bagel... Company Patea? No, was that hopeless? Very close. Was that hopeless? Very close. Very close. <laughs> Come on, what is it called? It's called the London Bagel, oh, Bagel and Salt. You get me at it now. Yes, yeah, see. Lo- <laughs> 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 Can't even pronounce it. It's, 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 it's the London Bagel and Salt Beef Bar Patea. Wow, okay. okay. So, I want to know how, all about this, how about that came where from. the idea came from, what in, what in the world possessed you to not just start this with probably one of the longest names I think I know, but also how incredibly well it's developed and how well respected you are here uh, in, in the area. So let's start from the beginning. The show is yours. Well, it's really her. Okay. Um, she started, She, I went to the hospital and they said that I'm overweight. You would never yeah. believe it. Can't believe that for no, a second. No, no. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on the verge of diabetes. Okay. So she gets very worried. Yeah. And she decides to want to start to cook for me healthy food. Okay. Right. Because I tend to go out a lot to eat. Yeah. And she started to really look at YouTube, healthy cooking, etc., etc., for which we was doing. And I'd lost about six kilos. Wow. Right. Right. She gets me to eat hard-boiled eggs every bloody morning. Don't ask. It's bloody hard horrible. Boiled oh, eggs. Three hard-boiled eggs every morning, right? I don't think they want right. to be around mate, you in the mornings. Mate, 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 it's hard work. <laughs> anyway, so we start. She started doing it and cooking me some really, really, really amazing dishes. Yeah. Um, and I used to start posting some of them on Facebook. Yeah. Let's cook me this. Let's cook me that. And anyway, it came to her birthday. I said, you know what? For your birthday, would you like? To, uh, would you like to do? cooking lessons mm-hmm. and she went oh yeah I'd love that so there's a couple of cooking schools here okay and we went to have a look at look at both and I said for what um, the Dusit Tani charges and for what you get you, let's take you there all right, right? nice um, so she said oh wow thank you so it was like a four or five month course oh. only one day a week on a Saturday and she started to learn to do and I all, they were teaching her everything and systems I mean right the way through and every morning she was getting she loves studying she's a, a bookworm she loves reading and studying and studying and reading and reading and she was like leaving at eight o'clock in the morning um, meant to be there for nine getting the first one there they gave us everything and she was working and and she just get evolving all the time and in fact the um, the teacher said she's the real deal mm. I mean and then she, they she entered a um, a food styling competition yeah and um, the one of the judges was one of the judges from uh, Iron Chef Okay. And he and he said they wanted her to into it as a student. They said she's just unbelievable. Brilliant. And um, I I haven't got on, I can show you some pictures yeah. of what she's done. I mean, is just unbelievable. And um, the competition was to go and buy fifty baht food and elevate it. And I'll show you it after the show what she's done. It was just unreal. Anyway, so she was studying and studying and studying, and while she's doing everything, um, she's still at school, I said to her, can you do me some deli food, like Jewish deli food, you know, mm-hmm. can you do it? She said, well, I said, well, I really fancy kefilter fish, right? Now you would look at me and say, what is kefilter fish? I was thinking, what now, is kefilter fish? I <laughs> also thought kefilter fish is a fish called kefilter fish, even okay. me, because I've only ever, I only ever used to have it when 
my mum or my aunt used to make it yeah and it is amazing this stuff or i used to buy it from the deli right right and i always thought it was a fish called gefilte fish honestly and then well, yes and i'm looking for gefilte fish like a fish called <laughs> but it's not a gefilte fish is actually carp which is sea fish yeah and it's either and mixed and we do it with sea bass and she done some research anyway she made some and, and the traditional is boiled which right. i absolutely hate right right i must tell you i don't like but it but it has to be hot though no you can have it cold well, you, you like it cold <laughs> i don't like it period right oh, but, but, but but then you have the fried ones which you can also have hot or cold yeah and they are amazing seriously they're unbelievable anyway she looked on the recipes and my aunt gave a few little things of what to do and she made it and my friend who's back in the uk now gary came over and um he he couldn't believe how good mm. the boil he loves the boiled i had the fried anyway we posted it on facebook oh no i'm jumping the gun while she was doing all this studying we had an idea um because her the designs and the elevator of what she does is really amazing um the way she does the, the plating of food because she's mm. a designer by nature i thought why don't you do maybe like a a home delivery but fine dining i thought that could be a market mm. for it you know especially with what's going on we weren't on the lockdown but in certain parts it was locked we weren't over here and we posted a lot of the images and we, we she said we set up a a thing called the pit cafe right and we posted all the images there and if you have a look at it the, seriously they are unbelievable and everybody said and we put it on breakfast club and some others and everyone said how beautiful the stuff looks fantastic but nobody bought it right right and i can i i can actually understand the reason why because there are so many great restaurants you've got the cafe des amis you've got patrick's mm -hmm. you know you've got um uh, et you know picky blinders fantastic restaurants they don't really need that home delivery but it's only because she's so good i kind of like wanted to yeah so try try to give her that something to do extra um and in the meantime um the um Dusset we're now talking about opening up a restaurant and they wanted her to be in the kitchens to be one wow, of them nice. she, and she's only a student so it's like quite amazing anyway so that's kind of how it started anyway she's then started to make for me and i posted it on and then some people said well can we buy some right because it's it's very niche because you can't get filter fish anywhere yeah. is you know and, and potato luckers right which is basically if you've ever had a hash brown yeah they're better okay they are better they are unbelievable so good. right but no they are they are in fact they're making some now right. so you might even get a chance to get a bit of tasting <laughs> of food later right <laughs> um so we started to do that anyway so we started to market it and push it out and just like silly things i'm eating it whatever a silly crazy videos nothing it was it, it, it wasn't even it was just a little, it was more a bit of fun and we didn't really think it was going to become a business and and bearing in mind is you know we're talking about jewish deli food yeah in pataya whatever you yeah. know and it, whatever because your videos are funny <laughs> that's what they're meant to be they were meant to be did you see my one about the billionaire sandwich uh right. i'm not sure oh mate like. mate it was classic anyway <laughs> right. if you haven't seen these videos check them out they are anyway so what happened was um we started to do to do this and then the name there wasn't even a name at this time there was no name there was nothing mm -hmm. right it was nothing at all and then what happened i was watching um i look at breakfast club as we all do sure and there's a young lady on there called jane right all right i forget her last name right and she had made some salt beef right and i said to her oh i fancy some salt beef oh i could murder a bit of salt beef and i contacted her to see if i could buy some mm -hmm. and jane said i don't sell salt beef it's only for my own personal use i went oh okay i said she said, but it's very easy to make and what you do is um you you get some curing salt you put it in a um thing you cure it for a few days and then you put it in a, a high pressure cooker and it's done i went oh i've never cooked salt beef so i actually wouldn't know i went oh okay fine so i said all right so i said you should i go and buy the 
the beef from the market. Well, I never buy beef from the market. I buy my beef from Villa, you know. All right? I can imagine you walking around the market. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> it don't happen. It don't happen. Anyway. In part one, you were saying about what a food critique is. Yeah, well, I can anyway, imagine it, you around the market going, Mate, it don't happen. Are you seriously happen. trying to tell no. me that's beef? <laughs> mate, 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 it just don't happen. Anyway, so, I went, like I said, nah, can you do it? So, I said, this is what Jane said. So, she said, well, let me, she said, oh, it's a lot more involved than that. Let me do a bit of research. So, you know what? Let me speak to my aunt. Right now, my aunt's 94 years of age. Is she bless right? her. God bless, bless her. Bless her. I was a but she, um, she's been ill actually. But you know, my same as my mum, unfortunately, is no longer here. But they made, used to make amazing salt beef. Right. I mean, seriously unbelievable. So I spoke to my aunt, and I said, Aunt, how do you brine and make salt beef? Mm -hmm. I said, you know, Nat's going to make some. Oh, darling, I haven't done that for years. <laughs> She says, but, you know, this is a typical 94. You get a little bit of schmock to of this. Schmock to means a little bit of this and a little okay. bit of that. You know, yeah. like Yiddish. You know? A bit of schmock to of this. And, a bit, and you throw it in and then you... I said, no, I need a bit more information. So she kind of gave us the underlinings of what yeah. she did. And yeah. then that kind of... Then done more research. But going back to where it all started, because the cuisine that we do is what's called Ashkenazi. Okay. All right. Um, and I'll explain to you that about that in a minute. And so she did a bit of research as well, listened to what my aunt did and everything else. Anyway, she brined a bit of beef and we videoed it, right? Um, how this beef was going to be. And I said, this will come from Jane, et cetera, et cetera. And it was not great, but it was all right. We did the beef, we did um, a beef. We bought two pieces, three pieces of beef. Only like two kilos or a kilo yeah. it went. Yeah. And it was like from two market stalls and then a three piece of kilo piece of beef from Villa. Mm -hmm. right? And we cooked all of them. And in all fairness, the ones from the market were okay as flavour, the way she'd done it. But it just fell to pieces and it didn't have that beautiful colour red because the beef doesn't actually, mm -hmm. you don't, can't get that right colouring, that right, that right nice pinkish colour. Anyway, but the, but the beef from Villa had a better colour because it was a better quality. Although yeah. They were all Thai beef. Yeah. Anyway, we bought it and it was okay. It wasn't perfect, but it was okay. So I thought, let's have another go. So we bought another bit of beef and I did and it came out and that was the very first crazy video. I don't know whether you saw me doing, <laughs> jumping up and down like a bloody lunatic. Right, yeah. right. I was jumping up and down. It was just fun. I mean, you know, we've had so much bad things going along in the world, yeah. and certainly yeah. things. You know, if it makes someone laugh, I don't take myself serious. It's all tongue in cheek. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I made. Hey, heart funny. I made this video, mm. right, and we put it on um, my Facebook page on the Breakfast Club. You know just to promote it was exciting I was yeah. proud of what Nat done as well when it yeah. was done well instead of getting good response I had insults <laughs> and insults like I cannot remember you fat sod you should not be speaking you should not be doing this you should not be doing that and just insults yeah. I mean nothing nice you know um, nothing nice and then um, I got really slated oh then you I've stolen Jane's recipe well they never gave me a recipe it was purely from mm -hmm. go and get the, the, the salt well that ain't a recipe you know yeah. the recipe yeah. is when you write something down and you give someone an entire list right and then I get abuse from Tommy Robson who owns the radio station he starts calling me Mr. Salty right right <laughs> salty is this so bear in mind I'm a marketing guy and I'm like a rag, to, a, a, a red rag to a ball. Yeah. You start with me. I don't give a shit. Bottom line. So they started insulting me. So I then made another video. <laughs> I'm calling out all the people that were insulting me. Yeah. Well, of course they don't like that. Yeah. Um, so I'm not well liked by a certain amount of people, <laughs> such as life. But everything I do is all in jest. I don't do anything. Yeah. You know, I don't do anything in jest, and I don't take anything out from anybody. I've always told him, I said, Jane did the salt beef. Anyway, we started to do it. And we thought, well, so now we've got this salt beef thing. I thought, well, we need to get a name. Then everyone sort of like, 
bagels and things. I said, Nat, can you do bagels? She says, bagel? I said, yeah, but proper bagels. So she started doing research. Mm -hmm. um, and then people started talking about, and because I'm from London, yeah, I'm from the UK, um, and all this originated from the UK. I mean, yeah. everything, even from the U, you talk about corned beef, but it actually all started from the UK, from Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. That's where the whole history comes from. And I thought, well, why don't we call it? Because a lot of people in the UK know about Brick Lane. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone knows about Brick Lane. Yeah. So I thought, why don't we call, and we want to do, want to do bagels. Um, I think it'd be a good thing if we can do it. Even if we maybe bought me in, but eventually, obviously that's made, made, and yeah. made, and made, as you can see. Yeah. And so we thought, well, let's call it the London Bagel and Salt Beef Bar, because we're going to do salt beef. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of come from London, so it kind of hits in there. We're going to do salt beef, we're going to do bagel, so it kind of... So that's how it arrived. And that's how we arrived. And then, because of I've, I've got so much slagging off on the yeah. Breakfast Club, <laughs> I, and I did get, I have yeah, had yeah, slagging yeah, off. Yeah, I, although, I can relate to it, don't worry. I, I do, and I, you know, I'm so thick-skinned, I don't really give a damn, to be honest with you. Mm. Uh, you know, and I've always said, look, I know my videos are over the TT. Mm. And equally, they're all done in jest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I home in on the, the Jewishness mm -hmm. with some of the videos. And I'm taking the piss out of myself. Yeah. And, buy, and if people can't see them for what they are, then I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know, because they they're not there to offend anybody. They're just for a bit of fun. In terms of where you are now with, yeah. with, the, with the business, I mean... You've got more than just salt beef now, haven't you? Oh, You've yeah. You've got a considerable range. I mean, I see some of the pictures that you put on yeah. Facebook. I mean, how did that develop? How did you kind of expand your range? Well, what basically happened was we started doing the, the salt beef. And obviously, the bagels kind of came on later on. It was really just one or two things. But then customers started to want to buy from us. And I said, nah, if you're in, yes, it could you do a matzo ball soup? Well, what's a matzo ball soup? So it's chicken soup you know, with matzo mm -hmm. So she goes like that. So um, again, and then she does a research. You know, because it's things that I look at when I was a kid and I used to go into a Jewish deli to right. buy. It. So it kind of just evolved and I keep coming up with another idea of another menu. So like when you wake up in the morning, does Nat dread it and think, oh man, he's going to ask me to do something else? Nah, <laughs> do you dread it in the mornings when I ask you to, to come up with another Does idea? Do you always ask for new, new, new range, new products? Yes. Yeah, you always <laughs> drive me crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Well, now, don't have a domestic right now. Leave that until we finish. Never, never, never. So right now, then you know you're very well established. I have to give credit where credit's due. Your marketing's very spot on. You, Thank you know, you. you you're out there. I've seen a lot of your posts and everything. So right now, yeah. I mean, I guess the question I've got to ask you: Why not a restaurant? Well. You know, many people have said to us, why haven't you opened up a restaurant? Mm. Um, multiple reasons. First of all, unfortunately, we are in a COVID situation. Sure. Right? Um, where many, many expats have gone back home. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, many, many, many businesses are extremely suffering, yeah. especially the hospitality. And my heart goes out to every single one of them. Right? So, as a you know, someone who's got a bit of common sense, it ain't the right time to open up okay. a restaurant. But more so is that my product that we sell, or our product, is very niche, mm -hmm. right? It's not for everybody because it's a Jewish deli, right? So it's not, and mm. it's a very, very select menu, right? Okay. So it's not like you, oh, well, I fancy a steak and there's a, a thousand pieces. Of you know, if you want to set, I mean, there's other companies have, for example, try to do what we've done on the salt beef they can't mm. because there's only one way to do it and that's no whatever to them there's a, a technique Nat has been maybe because of her training she's managed to, to get it right yeah. honest to God I don't know how she's done it I'll be honest with you it baffles me I mean but I suppose if you've got that talent you've got that talent it's, well, it's lucky it's for you it is. isn't it I mean, Not <laughs> half. I mean it's lovely right? fantastic I mean in terms of the future obviously like you said about Covid now is, is obviously suppressing a lot of what we're going through yeah. etc if things, or not if, I, I believe fully that it will return, but when yeah. things do return, yeah. 
do you see like where do you see the business going in terms of I mean you're going to do like deliveries or bulk orders I mean what are well, you going to expand out Patea oh well we, we, we already are okay. um, to a point I mean you know we're from a home kitchen yeah, yeah. we can only produce I mean you know last weekend I mean you see we've got one one oven yeah, yeah? well I'm we, looking around I'm like it's amazing how much you're doing she does because she's because she's she's trained you know and everything is spotless and everything is very is seriously serious yeah we did over 100 bagels on a weekend see I couldn't right? I couldn't right? I couldn't do it I'll mean, be eating them <laughs> mate 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 unbelievable I mean she's making some fresh at the moment and she's making conditions but where we are is what I, how I listen I've made, I've opened up I've done something over here as well which unfortunately did not work mm-hmm. um, it wasn't really Pattaya but it was an idea I had yeah. which we, we, we did which unfortunately is, is still there but not so to sure. speak um, and what I wanted to do with this because it's niche is develop a customer base first okay so when the time is right to move into a restaurant and get to that next stage I know I've got a following of X amount of customers gotcha. that are going to come in and I know I'm going to cover 80% of my rent 80% of my exes understood it's done so therefore I'm not walking in with nothing yeah right that's well, um, a great concept and, and I must be honest with you we've got in four months I mean our menu because we work our menu on Dropbox mm-hmm. so I know exactly who looks at our menu when they look at it what time they look at it and how long they've looked at it for mm-hmm. I've got every, all the data yeah Right, and since July, in the last two months, we've had just over a thousand people look at our menu. Fantastic! And out of a thousand people that have looked at our menu, we've had a twenty percent customer buy from us. Wow, uh, those yeah. percentages are right? incredible. And that's fact. That, yeah, that's not making up, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we had a customer last week buy fifty bagels, yeah. right? Twenty-five bagels. We've had people come from Bangkok. Mm to buy our food because they can't buy this mm. over here. I mean, you know, we're sat here now, I've got to be honest here, I'm dying because the smells are coming across now well, the you, food that I mean, Nat's I, making, I'm like, oh well, man, you're, you're, I could you're not get, do it. You're gonna get a little bit yeah, like, I later. Could not, but, I couldn't but, uh, live uh, it's in hard. this environment because I would be like three times the size it's, I am now. And we, I'd be, it'd be but, I must, but I must tell you something, it, it's interesting. I mean, I love salt beef, mm. right? And I love matzo ball soup. But when it's around you every day, yeah, you I suppose. Act, yeah. You actually, seriously, mm. I mean, I love salt beef, but I can't eat salt beef now every day yeah. because it's around me. Bagels, I mean, yeah. I love bagels. I can't eat, I shouldn't eat them anyway because my stomach. But I, I mean, I, you know, mm. we can do it. So it's easy saying it, but it, 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 you see, it's, it's easy to it's say. It's a yeah. novelty for me, I guess. Yeah, but, but yeah. and it was for me, but eventually it kind of, you know, you, you, yeah. you want different things at the same time. We're coming near the end. Yes. I've got one question for you. Yes. You can pick one person yeah. that you would love to take Nat's culinary dishes to yeah. and serve them a dinner. Anyone you want in the world, alive or dead, one person that you could serve their culinary... You say to Nat, do your best, sweetheart, put it on the table, I'm going to go and give it to one person. Who would you serve to? My mum. Would you? And is your mum's seal of approval worth its weight in gold? 100%. Is it? Fair yeah. play to you. 100%. Because, I mean my mum or my aunt right mm. because it's all kind of come from them yeah yeah I mean everything has come from them Brilliant. so oh, you know um, yeah what that. do you think your mum would say <laughs> I wouldn't like to say on air actually <laughs> oh, right? okay right? but um, you know it yeah without any question my mum oh, I, and it's not because I have a mum because you know Jewish mum she did all this cooking my aunt, yeah. you know, obviously my mum is Brilliant. no longer here. So, yeah, without any question. Oh, fair without play any to question. Well, as, as it was in the know. first part, I've got to say thank you so much for your time, sir. It's yeah. been an absolute pleasure. Thanks. Guys, I will put all the links to everything you need yeah. in the description below. But one thing I will say to you, all right, and what I have found about London Bagel, which is more important to me than just the food, mm-hmm. it's brought people together. Okay. And where I say that is we have customers that have met downstairs picking up their food 
and they found out that they know each other and they didn't realize they were here Brilliant. or they knew people that were new people and i've actually met a customer from here mm -hmm. that lived in the same jewish boy lived in the same development i lived in when i was just got married wow, and bought go. and bought my friend's home wow. and he lived two doors away from me brilliant right and there's other things brilliant. so it's and it brings that a lot a lot of people buy for example our matzo ball soup mm. and um people say it reminds them of their grandparents and their mums so it's memories so it's, oh, it's fantastic. special well yeah. fair play to you credit where it's due I think you've done an amazing job. The food looks amazing. I've got to say right now, it we smells. Have a You'll have it a try. It smells incredible. And uh, guys, as I say, I will put all the information, all the links down below. Check it out. Get in touch with Spencer and Nat. And, uh, you know, get yourself some of this incredible food. It really is something special. All right, that's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Check out our members area. There's more and more members now joining. And join our Discord group. There's over 4,000 people on there. Get yourself on there, get yourself involved. It really is a great place to connect with other people that love this wonderful city. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.